Now we have a little bit behind of our schedule. So, uh, but I think um, it's the time, it's the beauty of our live streaming. So thanks everyone on the streaming for your understanding. So now I'm going to um, yeah, introduce Augustine here. So next session is ready. So it looks interesting because it's all about the community. At the same time, it's all about the .NET. So let me introduce Augustine for this talk. Hello, Augustine, how is it going? Hi there, can you hear me? Yeah, can, I can hear you. Okay, so, so let me whenever share my... you are ready. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me... And share, are we on? Can you see me? All good. So I will over to you. Okay. Can you see my presentation? Start of my presentation, please. Hello. Justin, can you see the start? Okay. Yep, you can start now. Hopefully you can. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm Augustine Kaveh. I'm the Microsoft MVP. And I'm going to talk about how we're using .NET to build our community app, okay? Uh, a bit of context. Who are we? Uh, Hackerspace Mumbai is the largest OSS community in Bombay. Uh, and uh, we organize this longest running tech meetup, right? This is over like 10 years and we have racked up over like uh, 114 events. But we're still a community event, right? Small community event. event. Uh, we don't have, uh, usually uh, most of us don't have food, swags or booze. So basically our ideal attendee profile is this guy. But even then, uh, we still have a full house, right? I mean, this is my pick for two days back when the launch, uh, the .NET launch live watch party was. And this was actually uh, on a New Year's Eve out here. Uh, most of the Hindu folks out here were supporting New Year's and this was around midnight. So we still were able to pull in like around 25, 30 uh, folks for this, uh, which is quite great. But uh, that means this brings a, a issue for us as organizers, right? We want to make sure that we are a diverse, inclusive and uh, equitable kind of, uh, community so we have to kind of triage the registration we get like for 30 odd seats we get mostly like around 300 400 registration so that takes a toll on us and in terms of an a substantial time and effort is going through so we're trying to automate that and as that uh, we built an app uh visage um if you go check out it's on github the repo is uh so we're building on uh this uh, a full app like to Twice our registrations and also do a check in and check out, which more frictions list for folks out here. Uh, now, the question is why do we use C sharp now? As a OSS community uh, and who like and welcome contributors, the contributor journey as a coder varies, right? They could be from novice to experience. And instead of giving a whole lot of polemics, why? If you were watching .NET Con Up Live, I'm sure you were. GitHub Pilot went down during that, right? The co-pilot. And the reason for that was small, innocuous, you know, value not equal and all, right? This is, if you're in JavaScript, you know, this kind of thing uh, always kind of trips you up. But then this is a problem we <laughs> .NET folks don't have, right? Because string.nl and MD. And that's the beauty of it. If it's, it's, even though it's a statically compiled language, there's still... Uh, within the whole language, get taken that, you know, uh, those common scenarios, you make sure that that framework doesn't allow you to do a lot of mistakes. And that's a really good mark, you know, mark for a, of a good framework, right? I mean, a lot of frameworks which I do, they get too fast, but do how much of them prevent you from doing their mistakes? And for an open source project, this is very valuable, kind of fact. Now, second is, uh, it's .NET OSS, right? I mean, we want to debunk that myth that, hey, it's not OSS. And I want to point to you out. Um, Western is like a, one of the prominent uh, contributors in the .NET ecosystem, and it's got a slew of projects that help us out. Um, and this is what happened on August 25th. And I said, okay, this looks very similar to something that Shaz CDN does that, right? And if you're from the React world, you know, this is like one of the most beautiful kind of uh, UI component libraries. And we just like, hey, now we have a pointer just within a week or so, we have a whole beautiful use of, you know, this Spark UI company. And we're using that components out here for us, right? So the whole uh, UI stuff, and we're incorporating that, alert is first. And this is this shows, like, in a second, like, uh, encompasses what we're trying to do and what the whole .NET community is. You ask, it comes up true, it does that. 
but we are still not really as big as the JavaScript system. We don't have storybook. So our components, like, you know, you cannot test them out or do that. So if that comes out and anyone doing, we are waiting for that and looking forward to it. Uh, getting back to the, uh, uh, sorry. Okay, that's one aspect. Yeah, so uh, one aspect that is there we're looking at, and I think Sumo Server auto render has come to the uh, Blazor thing, right? So which is really good because if you look at it, uh, if you do anything like an event app registration, you have, you know, as organizers, which is very intense and engaging with the app. So you have a lot of, uh, uh, as you see, uh, a functional happening below this. Uh, if you want to catch it up, okay, you can check uh, catch up on our site where we have all the, uh, how we went about the event modeling and doing that. So, but the registrations are like simple. They're very ephemeral or very uh, um, temporary kind of thing. So they just fill in the details and go through. So this made up uh, .NET 7, like, you know, the registrations or the registrants, we would like to offer them like via Blazor server because that's very light for them and uh, uh, both in terms of the browser requirements as well as the bandwidth. Uh, but uh, for the uh, organizers, we wanted to go with the Blazor version because, hey, they can do it offline, PWA, and it's much more heavy kind of usage of it. But with auto render, this kind of does, right? I mean, one of the biggest pain points we had uh, with Blazor or most of the folks is, the performance that you get because you have to initially download the uh, Blazor Mono Wasm DLL, which is quite substantial, like around one megabyte. So that takes a toll. With the auto Blazor layout happening through that, uh, what we could do is uh, uh, performance wise, as well as from ECU perspective, you get a direct uh, pure HTML that is getting downloaded initially. And then later on, the uh, uh, DLL gets piggyback onto it, right? But our, preferably, if you look at how architecture was, we try to do that. I mean, if you are into .NET and Azure, one of the preferred way to deploy that would be in Azure Static Web Apps. And that we thought, hey, good, man. So uh, we've got the layout and we're going to do this, but not to be a party pooper. Uh, we, it's still not possible in the uh, hybrid because even though there's Next and Nuxt, both from the DAOs, right? the React as well as Vue, that has this universal hybrid rendering, uh, that mimics the same process I mentioned about. We couldn't do that with the Blazor Wasm. So this is a bit of a party pooper. We hopefully we could see and work with the Dan Roth and the Blazor Wasm. Can we get you know kind of stateless kind of uh, motion from the uh, SSR rendering then to the client indirect type? It could be Blazor Server or Blazor Wasm. Now one aspect that we found out also was uh, with the. Uh, uh, ID. I mean, there's still some issues. If you look at it, uh, it's not so clear cut getting up uh, the debugging, right? And especially you want to give to our contributors coming from the novice world. Uh, it will take some time, and sometimes it's flaky. Hopefully, let's see if we're going to catch up to it. And we're coming through this, and it goes through. So nothing's come through out here. We have a lot of coming through, but uh, you see, uh, nothing works through it. So. If you look at it and you come back to Visual Studio, uh, the VS Code, yes, it works. Uh, we get something about working through that. Now, let me try again and show you how it's happening a bit. Which one? So in the interviewing, uh, what we want to mention is that what we found out that sometimes or some of folks, they used to find that the hit point used to hit, but you know, some of them, the breakpoints never get through that. So this is a bit flaky, the experience still with Blazorism and with VS Code on that. Uh, hopefully, we can see that going through. If you look at it, um, let's see, this, I, know, I was testing, oh, not that. Change. All right, so we can see that. Uh, we get it. But it doesn't hit the breakpoint. So, yeah, this is a bit of flaky kind of experience. We'll, we'll work with this to get, you know, a much more smoother experience so that, you know, the first kind contributors uh, have a better developer experience to learn this. Yeah. Something is, is still, uh, while .NET Core is like uh, 
looks to be a clean break from the past, but there are still some legacies happening. If you notice what I was looking up in the first few, if you, uh, the stuff, uh, if we started out, we could only see events because that's very anonymous or you know unauthenticated. But once you get logged in or authenticated, you as an admin, I get to see you know events managed manage the euros. But uh, here's the thing: to get the rules up, and we're using zero. If you notice out there. Uh, uh, which is an IVP that is there. And um, we've all been using that. So the good part about it, yeah. Now C Sharp services.net works with most of the IDPs uh, pretty seamlessly, but there's still a legacy aspect. So if you've not come like us, like 10, 15 years in .NET, uh, you find this common if you come from the NTNM, Kerberos, or uh, Active Directory, kind of, but new folks would find this a bit odd, right? I mean, why do we have to give this kind of things to get, you know, the roles coming through? So we see certain aspects of this. Uh, Creeping into it, uh, which we look to at. So hopefully we can work with this and get through. Also, what I've noticed, also this is my send version. There's a big change. Before there used to be an array role that is given in terms of it. Now it seems to be a single role that can only be sent across. So this also needs to be checked out a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So one aspect of the profession we found out was. Uh, let me get back to it. Claims. Yeah. Mm. There's a authentication. So a few things that were there that were working. And if you look at it, the claims aspect is here. But if you go for user, so these both are given up in the official docs. But this page doesn't work out well. Like if you give it. Sorry. It doesn't work out. So it doesn't get through any of this. Uh, so some of the documentation needs to because uh, the, uh, only if you're a bit, a bit experienced, you get through it, uh, you'll have to dig through it. So some of the using statements also needs to be added to these examples. So we're working with this. Uh, these are the feedbacks I've given to him. But uh, in the end, uh, like, uh, uh, we really love that because the uh, .NET, so we are working it. It forms the greatest part of it. I mean, if you look at the stuff, uh, the folks are really interested. I think the contributors are there. And uh, I think so folks really love this uh, working through them, right? This is what we had. Yeah. OK, I wanted to wrap it up early as possible. So yeah, that's my talk, uh, Justin. On time for the 10, I presume. That's. Really quick. <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure it's 10 because it's, uh, folks are returning back from the first day of Diwali vacation. So guys will come try to come into the office right now. OK. So thanks for um, the joining us, our stint. So there are so much insight we can take. So I will see you next time. And maybe I'm next, yeah. I'm next year at the conference. Yeah, next Thank year you should see a much more full flesh of the app. I mean, we'll flesh out the whole stuff. Uh, we're going to use the um, Aspire, which was uh, announced, so that's very exciting to look around. I think yeah. so we'll uh, incorporate that into it. So you should yeah. see a much more expansive uh, uh, and much more fleshed out kind of app by next year. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. I will see you. Yeah.